Value stream mapping, also known as material and information flow mapping, is a lean management methodology for analyzing the current state and for designing a future state for the series of events that take a product or service from the beginning of the specific process until it reaches the customer. The purpose of value stream mapping is to identify and remove or reduce waste in a value stream, thereby increasing the efficiency of a given value stream. Waste removal is intended to increase productivity by creating leaner operations which in turn make waste and quality problems easier to identify. A value stream map is a visual tool that displays all critical steps in a specific process and easily quantifies the time and volume taken at each step. Value stream maps show the flow of both materials and information as they progress through the process. Value stream mapping is defined as a lean tool that employs a flow chart documenting every step in the process. Many lean practitioners see the value stream map as a fundamental tool to identifying waste, reduce process cycle times, and implement process improvements. It is a workplace efficiency tool designed to combine material processing steps with information flow along with other important related data. Value stream mapping is an essential lean tool for an organization wanting to plan, implement, and improve while on its lean journey. The mapping helps users create a solid implementation plan that will maximize their available resources and help ensure that materials and time are used efficiently. The value stream portion of the value stream mapping system centers on how value can be added to a product or service by changing the market form or function to meet the customer's needs. This includes adding features and functionality to a product or service that benefit the customer without increasing wasted time and materials on the company's side. A value stream map is a tool for evaluating processes to identify bottlenecks, wastes, and improvement opportunities. Identifying the biggest bottlenecks in a process stream is where value stream mapping shines. Identifying bottlenecks is the most readily apparent benefit of value stream mapping. It helps the entire organization see where the biggest bottleneck is and how it negatively affects getting value to the customer. For example, if you are only aware of the five hour build time of a process, you might be inclined to focus effort on improving that alone. If you don't understand the more significant bottleneck that it may take a week for deployment, improving the build time alone will likely make the downstream bottleneck even worse. However, if the bigger bottleneck is understood by everyone in the organization through the use of a value stream map, it is clear that the organization must focus on reducing that delay to the benefit of everyone, especially the customers. Value stream mapping is a proven lean technique and is useful in any industry or business in which items must pass through multiple departments and or phases before delivery to the customer. The purpose of a value stream map is to view the entirety of a process flow from start to finish and create a plan to optimize efforts in getting the company to its desired outcomes. By illustrating the current state, a value stream map allows you to know where there are current gaps. Once you establish inefficient and undesirable activities, you can identify opportunities in a future state map and develop an implementation plan to achieve your goals. This type of assessment is a critical element of lean manufacturing, and it helps to align the company's resources to streamline informational or manufacturing processes within a specified timeframe. No matter your industry, whether you're processing raw materials, manufacturing physical goods, developing software, handling administrative paperwork, or managing employees, Value stream mapping helps your company perform more efficiently. There are three types of value stream maps. A current state map describes the high level steps to make a product or provide a service from customer order or request 
until delivery back to the customer. It reflects what's actually happening today and not would, should, or could happen in the future. It's important to really understand the current state before trying to create ideal or future state maps. The ideal state map describes the perfect world scenario if there are no barriers or inhibitors in the process. And a future state map describes the high level steps to create the product or service. It is the map that should represent the process six to 12 months in the future as you strive towards the ideal state. The order is to create the current state, then ideal state, then a future state. If you skip the ideal state, then the team often sets a future state that is not as aggressive or transformational. Future state value stream maps provide a vision for where the product or service is headed in the future, which guides all investment and decision making. Drawing a value stream map is a team effort. So you will need to gather a team of people representing the stakeholders in the process. Make sure to include people who both manage and support the various parts of the value stream. It is vitally important here to include people who actually do the work and not just the managers or team leaders. Otherwise, you risk creating a value stream map that shows what should happen rather than what actually happens. Brainstorm who is involved, both internally and externally, what is needed to deliver the product or fulfill the customer need, and the tasks or activities that go into producing the products. Put those tasks in order as much as possible and include costs and actual working time for each task. In order to build up a picture of the average performance for each task, and of course, ultimately for the entire end to end process. Look at the delays in between stages of the process, for example, the length of time a task sits in someone's in tray, and don't forget to add that to the map. Every week, we upload new videos between 5 and 10 minutes in length, where we will focus on the strategic implementation of Lean and Six Sigma. As a Six Sigma expert, I am passionate about quality. And if you are too, then click subscribe to be notified whenever we upload our next Lean Six Sigma video.